Yo guys, welcome back to episode number 17 of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond playthrough, where last episode we had a very exciting episode last episode because we quelled the the time deity, Dialga, and we saved it from Team Galactic who was trying to capture it and use it for all sorts of bad things such as creating an entirely new universe. So that was fun. And we did actually catch Dialga as well, but we're not going to use it on the playthrough, seeing as, seeing as that will be a little bit too overpowered. But we do have it. So now we have to go to the last city, which is Sunny Shore City, which is home to the 8th gym leader. We can't fly there yet, so we have to use our bike. So seeing as we are uh, we are actually coming to the end of the game, like pretty, uh, pretty close to the end of the game, so... Um, I have been thinking about um, grinding up the team after this 8th gym because I have heard many rumours and actually looked up a few of the uh, Elite Four teams and oh my god are they tough. Do they seem to be tough anyway? So I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding off camera um, after this episode, after we beat the 8th um, the gym leader. But for the time being we shall be focusing on getting them. I'm going to get off my bike here. I'm going to... Oh, I tried to dodge that trainer. So we've got a battle here. So we're going to focus on the 8th gym, which is an electric type gym. We don't have any uh, ground type Pokemon, nor do we have any ground type attacks. So this is going to be an interesting one. But in this battle we have a, we have a Lopany. Which, uh, this is a pretty good matchup because we can use a uh, payback against this thing. Because Lopany can't actually damage us. Really. So we use payback. It should do a decent amount. It did charm us though, so it's we've lowered our attack by one. It's going to keep using charm, so this is going to take a little while. I'd say two more paybacks to take this thing out. Dude, stop using charm. Okay, this payback should knock it out. We go first. Good stuff. Good job, Spectre. Is this is that our only Pokemon? I didn't see how many she had. Spectre's up to 46. That's nice. Okay, that was our only Pokemon. All right. I'm not sure how many trainers are on this route. I did not care to check beforehand. Probably a trainer. You're probably a trainer. And you're probably a trainer. Okay, so we managed to dodge those guys. What are these little houses down here? Pokemon size contest? Alright, so I think those houses are where you get like the, um, the different rods. Okay, I think I have to battle this dude. So we've got a sailor coming up. Just before we do that, I'm going to... Um, I should have done this a while ago, but I'm going to give um, Voltrix... Thunderbolt, because if you don't know, Voltrix is a physical attacker. Its attack stat is much higher than its uh, special attack stat, sorry. Therefore, Spark is probably going to be its better move. But I did look up a few calculations and Thunderbolt is actually going to be the stronger move because it is a higher base power than Spark by quite a bit. So Voltrix now lows Thunderbolt and also... In Sunny Shore City, where we are literally just about to be, there's a Zap plate that you can find. When you don't know what plates do, they boost your boost your moves by 20%, depending on which type you have. Okay, so he sends out a Phoebus. We have a uh, Spectre out still in front, so I'm just going to Shadow Ball this thing. Uses Splash. It doesn't do anything. The most pointless move in Pokemon history. Surely Shadow Ball knocks this thing out. Good stuff. And it crits, I don't think that mattered at all. Let me just take a minute to appreciate this uh, beautiful sunset backdrop we have. I haven't actually done this uh, at this time of day. And it looks beautiful. So we've got a Gastrodon coming out here. I'm probably going to keep Spectre in because we don't have a grass type move. Which is also a little bit concerning, not going to lie. Because going into the Elite Four, we're definitely going to need a ground type move for someone and we're definitely going to need a grass type move for someone. So we're going to have to look up maybe some TMs we can get for those types. Okay, and Shadow Ball takes out the Gastrodon. I think that might be his last. Oh no, he has a Machoke. Okay, we can't really stay in on a Machoke because we're not going to... Actually, no, yeah, we can. What am I talking about? Spectre resists, uh, actually it's completely immune to fighting attacks and also normal attacks, so we just Shadow Ball here. Yeah, easy. Easy decision to make. Almost one-shots it as well. Spectre is looking very nice. Knock off. How very rude. Okay, we Shadow Sneak. I'm confident in saying this will knock it out. If it doesn't, I'll be very surprised. Okay, good. 
All right, that should be his last Pokemon. It is. Okay, Sailor Luther is down. Pretty sure we're in Sunny Shore, uh, Sunny Shore City now. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, here we are. Okay, this is uh, this is Flint, I believe. Yo, fellow trainer. There's no masking that aura of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. I have no idea why I've come for this accent. It just seems to fit. Oops, sorry. I should introduce myself. My name's Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. It is Flint. I thought so. I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about this city's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challenges worth his time. He's so bored that he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, hotshot. I... Take the challenge, that Flint. Thank you very much for that very enthusiastic um, pep talk. Okay, so now we're in Sunny Shore City. Right, first things first, I'm going to try and find this Zap Plate because it'll be very helpful for Voltrix. Now, I've been told that it's in front of this lighthouse and it's hidden, so I have to use the dowsing machine. Where is this thing? Oh, I think I found it. Okay, so it's... There! Found a zap plate. Alright, that's fantastic. Okay, so uh, Voltrix is going to be even stronger now. Ah, yes. So we can take off the uh, dread plate that was boosting bite, which we hardly ever use, to be honest, on Voltrix. And now it has the zap plate, so its electric attacks are going to be even stronger. Alright, so now that we've done that, uh, we need to talk to Volkner, who is... Probably going to be in the lighthouse. So I don't know where I'm going the other way. Let's go this way. Go straight to the top. Here he is. Looking through the uh, binoculars. So, you're the last challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. Just gonna quickly heal so that our team is at full HP before we do this. Just realized that our Pokemon isn't following us anymore. How long's that been a thing? Uh let's um Let's have Susano walking walk, walking with us. Haha! <laughs> Big Naruto run. I haven't seen what um I haven't seen what Spectre looks like when you walk with it. Let's get Spectre out. <laughs> that's, that's not his walking speed. <laughs> it, it literally moves at like two miles an hour. Oh, I feel bad for him. Okay. I can't, wa I can't watch that anymore. I'm going to put Susano back out. Okay, so we head up here. We have met Flint. Yo, hiya. He's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. Alright, Hotshot. I'll be waiting at the Pokemon League. Thank you, Flint. It's a fun accent to do. I like Flint. Very, uh, very enthusiastic about things. Okay, here's uh, Sunny Shore City Gym. Very cool. Even cooler in 3D. Right, so this puzzle is just stepping on a load of gears multiple times. Alright, before I go into the uh, first battle, I'm just going to make a decision. So, best bets for the electric gym. Susano is weak to electric, so that's not a great start. Voltrix, not very effective against electric, seeing it is electric itself. And Matarasu could be quite helpful. Uh, does high damage, but is a bit squishy. Peregrine is weak to electric, so that's out of the picture. So I think the main three that we're going to be using are Houdini, Amaterasu, and Spectre for this gym. So for that reason, we'll keep Spectre in front. And we will take on the first gym trainer. Has a Pachirisu. 
Right, Spectre, Cell, Shadow Ball. I don't think Patrice is normal electric. At least I hope it's not. So we Shadow Ball. Uses Spark, shouldn't be too bad. Of course it paralyzes us. Uses Shadow Ball, good. Hit through the paralysis. Doesn't one shot. It, it's a crit as well. Okay. Should we Shadow Sneak? Hopefully this knocks it out. Good. Two crits in a row, Spectre. What are you doing? You're getting way ahead of yourself. I appreciate it. Okay, Tyra only had a Patrisu, so that was fun. Uh, Spectre is now paralyzed, though, so I'm just going to quickly get rid of that before we move on. Okay, second room. So we've got two ways that we can go. We can go this way to the left and we face this person. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here to learn the best battle techniques around. I'm sure it's the toughest um, the toughest gym in Sinnoh, seeing as um, it's towards the end of the game. That's how these things work. Mr. Mime. That's not good. Okay, so Mr. Mime is a fairy type, which is the only type that Spectre is weak to. Go figure. We, uh, we do have a super effective hit against it, though. I'm going to test the boundaries of Spectre's ability. Uses Energy Ball. Keep hitting my mic. I'm just going to move it up closer. There we are. Shadow Ball. Does over half. That's nice. Energy Ball doesn't do a lot to us. So we Shadow Sneak and I'm pretty sure this knocks it out. I want to say. Look at that. Spectre, you continue to amaze me every day. Peregrine learns uh, levels up to level 48. That's nice. Okay. We beat the school kid, which honestly sounds very horrible, but has very strong Pokemon, so he deserves it. Going down here now, we're facing this rock star looking person. Uh, I'm just going to heal up Spectre, just slightly. Won't use a max potion or anything, just use a hyper potion just to get it back up to full. Hey, what have you got? I want to win. I channel a desire through my guitar. I want to win. That desire makes my Pokemon a star. You are challenged by guitarist Jerry. What do you have, Jerry? A Luxio. Okay. That's not awful. At least it's not a Luxray. Spectre comes out. I believe we Shadow Ball this. Intimidate. Okay, that's fine. Shadow Ball is a special move. Does hurt Payback and uh, Shadow Sneak. Shouldn't be a uh, too much of a problem, though. He only has this Luxio. Leah. What are you trying to do to me? Lowering my physical attributes. Shadow Ball. Ooh, get in there, Spectre. Love that from you. Hey, we beat guitarist Jerry. Uh, we have one more trainer in this room. We don't need to heal up because Spectre didn't take any damage. Just lost some stats and then one shot the Luxio with a Shadow Ball. Okay, this uh, person has four Pokemon, including a Pikachu. Does she have four Pikachu? Because it looks like she's a fan of Pikachus at this point. I'm confident that Shadow Ball knocks out Pikachu, not gonna lie to you. Light screen? Okay, now I'm not very confident that it knocks out Pikachu. This if it does over half, I'll be very happy. I am now very happy. And we lower its special defense as well. So we Shadow Ball again. Outspeeds us, obviously, because it's a Pikachu. <sighs> so we've been paralyzed twice by two sparks. Spark has a hundred percent. Paralysis effect, apparently. Okay, looks like she's gonna have four Pikachu, so we're gonna have to continuously Shadow Ball. Once this light screen wears off, I'm confident that uh, Spectre can use um, Shadow Ball to one-shot these things. But until then, we're gonna have to two-shot them. Unless you can crit, that'd be lovely. Two Shadow Balls it is. You can charm me all you like. I'm not using a physical move. Shadow Ball to the little, very popular Pokemon mascot. We're not paralyzed anymore. Good job, Spectre. This is the third Pikachu. Light screen is still up, I'm pretty sure. Don't paralyze. What? We have been hit by three sparks and paralyzed every single time. What is going on? De and Spectre says no more. No more paralysis. Jeez. How many times is that going to happen? He uses light screen. That's fine because we knock it out. I can't remember if this was the third or the fourth one. Four Pikachus. How original. So we've got six PP on Shadow Ball left. That's plenty enough. Oh, there's Electro Ball. It's a pretty cool move. Shadow Ball is even stronger, though. Does over half, as expected. Shadow Ball again. 
Use his agility. Not going to matter. Unless Shadow Ball misses, which it won't because it's 100% accurate. Yeah. Alright, we've got the Pikachus out of the way. And Pokey Kid Megan is down. With your very cute Pikachu outfit, but... Doesn't make you a strong trainer. Okay, we do have an Aether, actually. So I'm going to use this on Spectre's Shadow Ball. So that we can utilize it properly. Okay, we've got a couple more trainers. Maybe two or three. I don't know what's on the other side of that. Um, that barrier. We might be able to get through here without having to battle anyone, though. Oh, no, we can't. All right. So there's an Ace Trainer. And we all know what Ace Trainers uh, are very famous for. They are famous for not having the right type in their gyms. So this could be anything. See what I mean? <laughs> it's good. She's got a Kadabra in electric type gym. Never mind, because Kadabra is completely useless against Spectre. Right, Shadow Ball. No contest. Energy Ball's not going to do very much, even though your special attack is quite high. It's not going to do anything. Shadow Ball will surely one-shot the Kadabra. Boom. Alright, Raichu. Okay, well that's... Uh, pleasantly fitting for the gym, but... Um, Quite a uh, predicament for me, I might say. Does Raichu have a strong enough move to take us out here? I'm going to go with no. Thunder Punch, that's not going to do very much. Doesn't paralyze us, which is a miracle at this point in this gym. Shadow Ball does over half. Shadow Sneak takes it out. Bold claim, but I think that's going to happen. Yes! Get in there, Spectre. Spectre is taking out everyone today. Who said that... Spectre can't deal damage. Like, this thing is crazy. Spectre is actually getting quite a high level now. Level 48. So, I'm going to swap in Amaterasu for this next battle. Seeing as Amaterasu is slightly lower leveled. Gives uh, Spectre a little break. And Amaterasu can build up his experience. Okay, we have quite a few trainers to go. Or might, no, maybe might, this might be the last one. Guitarist Preston. Sent out a Luxio. Okay, he's got two Pokemon. One being a Luxio. And I'm very confident, in fact, that Houndoom's Overheat knocks it out. Or do I want to use Overheat? No, I don't, do I? I want to save PP on that. Flamethrower. Flamethrower knocks it out. Come on. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Omotirasu burns you to the ground. Be barrel. Okay, we're getting out of here. Voltrix can come in. Because V-Barrel is a uh, water type, as well as a normal type. So this is going to be nice. Nice fodder for V-Barrel. Not V-Barrel, it's going to be nice fodder for Voltrix. Right, let's use uh, this newly um, attained Thunderbolt. Does very well. Good job, Voltrix. Seeing the Thunderbolt animation is much cooler as well than Spark, I've got to say. Right, we need to do this last part of the puzzle. It shouldn't be too difficult. We might have to face another trainer, maybe. Yeah, okay. So we need to go back down here. Face another ace trainer. There's a lot of trainers in this gym. This is going to be quite a long episode. As a Steelix. Complete opposite to what you'd have in an electric-type gym. Luckily, Amaterasu has Flamethrower. But do you have Sturdy? That is the question. Flamethrower will tell us if you have Sturdy. Come on. Does have Sturdy. I'm used to it at this point. Steelix and Onyx always going to have Sturdy. Uses Screech, but we dodge it. It's even better. And Flame Charge shall take out the Steelix. And we also get Speed Boost as well, which is nice. Like we need it against the Steelix anyway. Okay, Steelix goes down. Medicham. Okay, I'm going to keep out Martirasu. I think we, uh, we outspeed Medicham. Now that we have the speed boost. I'm going to overheat this thing just in case it has a uh, powerful fighting move. And we easily one-shot the Metacham. Lovely. Ooh, Peregrine wants to learn Brave Bird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to learn Brave Bird. We're going to get rid of Fly for Brave Bird. Because Fly is... It's 90 base power, but Brave Bird is 120 base power, so... Easy choice. Alright. So now we can go back down here. Uh, I'm going to try and dodge this dude. Oh! Okay. Accidentally figured it out. Okay, now we can uh, 
Now we can challenge um, Volkner, the final gym leader of Sinnoh. Right. Just make sure that everyone is fully healed, which they are. I'm going to lead with Spectre, just to scope out what he's going to send out. Right. Here we go. All right, challenger. It's not often a trainer manages to make it all the way here to challenge me. I'm not surprised, that puzzle was quite difficult. And when they do, they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we'd better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. I'm gonna give you the best battle of your life. I'm going to pulverize you, is what I mean. Let's go. Sends out Raichu, straight off the bat. Okay, so... Options here. We can do over half with Shadow Ball. What we could also do... Is... Ooh... We could set up a nasty plot. Yeah, I'm gonna set up a nasty plot. It Volt Switches. That's not the worst thing in the world, honestly. Doesn't do a lot to us, and we get a, a nasty plot off. Sends out an Ambipom. Alright, that is bad. I completely forgot that Volkner has an Ambipom. Why he has an Ambipom, I have no idea. It's a normal type, which is not great for, um, for Spectre to deal with. Has Thunderbolt as well. Doesn't do a lot, though, because it is a Thunder mo uh, electric move, and it doesn't have electric stab. So Payback does over half, which is good. I'm going to use Payback again. Thunderbolt's not going to do much to us. We tank that. Payback should knock it out. Alright. So we, uh... Yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. We have a nasty plot up. And we've just taken out, um... Ambipom with Payback. Okay, he's going to send back Raichu back in. Okay, so... This Raichu dealed quite a bit of damage with Volt Switch. And it could take us out. So... Do I rely on it not knocking me out? Probably not. Because if it has Thunderbolt, then it would take us out because Volt Switch did around about what we have left now. So I should probably switch. Now I don't have a fantastic switch in. Houdini? Probably. I'm going to swap in Houdini. If it Volt, if it Volt Switch is here, we're in trouble. Let's hope it doesn't. Okay. It Volt Switches, that does quite a lot. Who's he sending out? Octillery. A water type? That shouldn't matter though. I mean, Houdini with Psychic should one-shot this thing in all honesty. Oh, it doesn't! Octazooka. Well, that was close. Right, we're going to uh, Psy Shock to take this thing out. Which it will. Okay, so we've got Raichu and then something else to look forward to. Um, we outspeed Raichu. I think Houdini goes down here, not going to lie. But if it one-shots, then it one-shots. So I'm just going to see what happens. Doesn't one-shot. Okay, Raichu surely takes us out here. Uses Volt Switch again. I have a feeling Volkner's going to give us Volt Switch after this battle, seeing as his Raichu has literally only used it as his only move. Okay, so Houdini goes down. Luxray is um, Volkner's ace. Okay. So, our options here. Spectre is low on health. Amaterasu is full. That's a good option. Voltrix. So we have Luxray on Luxray situation. Um, I'm going to bring in Amaterasu. Hopefully we can outspeed it. And I'm going to try and nuke it with overheat. I'm going for the overheat. Okay, it outspeeds us. Thunderfang, that's annoying. Don't paralyze. Good, we overheat. Does it one shot. Oh, no! Oh, and it has a citrus berry. Are you kidding? I should expect that at this point, not going to lie. Ah, okay. So, if it hits us with another uh, Thunderfang, it knocks us out. I think I might have to sack off uh, Amaterasu here. Just to get a safe switch. So Thunderfangs. We don't hang on. So we've got to bring in... Um, Voltrix. I've got to bring in Voltrix here. 
Luxray on Luxray. This is an exciting battle, Volkner. I hope you're happy. Right, so seeing as my Luxray is uh, one level higher, mine should outspeed. So I'm going to go for... Bite, because it's not resisted. Okay, his is faster for some reason. Uses Crunch. Why doesn't my have Crunch? My Luxray is higher level than yours, and I haven't had the opportunity to get Crunch yet. What's wrong with that? Alright, so it outspeeds us. Oh, it uses a Hyper Potion. You cheating person. Alright, so Bite isn't doing fantastically, but it's our only option at this point. Uses Crunch. Oh, we've dodged. That's good. We keep using Bite until this thing is down. Uses Crunch again. That was a crit. Yeah, it crit us. Okay, it didn't knock us out though, which is nice. We did lose a bit of defense though. Oh, are you kidding me? Right. Um, is Volkner gonna... Uh, oh, we survive! Yes, get in there, Luxray! Voltrix, well done! Okay, we take out the Luxray. Our Luxray is superior. Good stuff. I keep wiping my head because it's so hot in here. Probably because I'm wearing a, a bear as a hoodie right now. Alright, so Raichu is the last Pokemon we have to deal with. And we have... Not fantastic Pokemon to deal with it. Alright, so... The situation is we have close combat on uh, Peregrine. Which... Could be enough to take it out. We also have Aqua Jet and Scold on Susano, which isn't resisted. But Flash Cannon and Ice Beam... No, sorry. Flash Cannon is resisted? Yeah. So Flash Cannon is resisted by Electric. But Ice Beam and Scold aren't. So that's what we're working with. I do have Spectre in the back as a last resort with Shadow Sneak. So I'm going to keep Spectre in the back. And I think we should start off with Peregrine. Because we can get an, uh, an Intimidate off. So this is what we do. Go on, Peregrine. You're in an Electric type gym. Here it comes. Get ready for my trump card. Raichu. Oh! I completely forgot. We got this thing down to like nothing. Shocking. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Neither did I. I completely forgot about that. Alright, so we quick attack. And knock it out. Yeah! That was, uh... That was a little bit anti anticlimactic, but I'm happy either way. I was stressing about which Pokemon to send out for this Raichu, and it was like... Nearly dead. Okay, we have defeated Gym Leader Volkner. You've got me beat. Your desire and the noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. I'm glad you thought so, Volkner. That was the most fun I've had in a battle since... I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to great heights. This is your eighth badge. You've earned this. There we go, we have all eight of the Sinnoh Gym Badges. The Beacon Badge. That Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall from your Poketch. That is very useful. And we will surely pick that up just outside this gym, I think. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that he's giving us Volt Switch. Charge Beam? You didn't even use Charge Beam one time. Anyway, so yeah, that, that was a pretty hard gym. I mean, look at the... Uh, Look at the uh, damage that Volkner did to us. I mean, we lost two Pokemon during that battle. Voltrix barely hung on on one HP, and then Susano, Peregrine, and Spectre lived. Only just, though. Only just. All right, now that we're done with this gym, we can go down towards the beach, where this little lady is waiting for us. Uh, um, my name is Jasmine, and I'm a gym leader. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Uh, it would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, that's this city's gym badge. You must be very good. Uh, please take this too. And this is where we get Waterfall. Which is a very useful HM, because we need it to progress through the game. And it is a very nice attack as well. Pretty strong physical water move. Up. Oh. It has literally just turned to night time in this game. Right, now that we have all eight Sinnoh gym badges, there is only one more thing for us to do in this game. Well, apart from catching all the legendaries and all the post-game stuff, is to defeat the Elite Four. 
which we will possibly be doing in the next episode, if not definitely the episode after that. So this is where we're gonna end today's episode. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And with that being said, I have been Oliver, that is O-L-V-R, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.